How's it going YouTube, Rosalyn here, and today I've got another Persona build for you for Persona 3 Reload. This is actually going to be the first of three mid-game builds, and they're the actual builds that I'm currently using on my own playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. The way I'm going to do this is by showcasing the Persona here and go over my decisions for the skills chosen, and then I'm going to cut to a VOD of when I did this live on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Gaming. From there you'll be able to see the entire process that I went through to make the Persona. So without the way, let's get into it. So for the first mid-game persona, we have this six element Black Frost. In addition to having the six elements, it also has single target boost, and then as a sort of temporary skill, I gave it Invigorate 2, which I got from a skill card that I purchased from the Gym Vendor and Polonia Mall. The reason I went with a six element Black Frost as opposed to making it three elements and then making another persona that's three elements was because I wanted to consolidate everything onto one persona here, just to facilitate getting it experienced more rapidly because in the end, I do want it to learn its final skill, which is Resist Light, which would give me a, in this case, six element Black Frost that has no weaknesses. Unfortunately, until that happens, it is gonna have that weakness to Light. Had I gone the other route, it would not know Koga, Gorilla, or Zionga, and would instead know the various boosts for Agi, Bufu, and Ega, but I feel this works just fine for the mid game and we can save that more high powered stuff for later. But anyways, this will be the first of the mid-game persona, so let's cut to the VOD so you can see how I made it. So first things first, I need to pull out Orpheus. And... Yamata no Orochi. Form Leonin, pass down single target boost. And pray we don't get a uh, fusion accident. And then Pale Rider, let's lean in for Narcissus. Ega, single target boost. Then we need Apsaurus. Apsaurus plus Narcissus for Jack-O-Lantern. Mega single target boost. Provoke wants to change? Sure. Let Provoke change. Okay. Uh, and then... Needs Sandman. Let's make another Narcissus. This time passing down Aga Garula. Single target boost. Okay. And then back into Jax, we need another Apsaurus. Then Garula, Ega, single target boost. Okay, so I get that done, then we need to pull out, uh, where 
jersey. Take Minakata. And Virtue. Where's Virtue? There he is. Use these into Sarasvati. Oh, I think you're in my Sarasvati first. Okay, so Zionga, Koga. Those are the only two we're getting here. Okay. And then we need Neko Shogun. Okay. That's everything we need from there. It's just the Zionga and Koga. The rest doesn't matter at all. I'm gonna save before I do the next one. Uh, I need to teach. We need to just fuse a random Jack Frost. Fuse a random Jack Frost and potentially teach him a skill. Okay. <laughs> uh. So, Silky. And Apsaurus. We just need him to learn more skills so we can pass down more stuff. That should be good. I'll let them change, sure, they don't matter. Except. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Can we pass down five now? Still can't pass down five. So I need to teach. Let's try teaching Jack Frost just one random skill card. All right, so we have to teach both Jack Frost and Jack-O-Lantern skills. Okay. So they need all max skills to be able to pass down five. And this is why you just pick up random skill cards for no reason. Uh, I don't need a Dia anymore, so congratulations. Oops. Nope, not King Frost. Jack-O-Lantern. You now know Dia. Uh, random Swift Strike. Jack Frost, congratulations. There we go. Now we can pass down five skills. Gorilla, Zyunga, Koga, Ega, and single target boost. And I guess he'll get Dark Boost for a temporary period of time. Until he levels up enough to learn... Light Boost. Oh, we can actually learn... We got enough for Bufidine. I didn't realize that. Okay. 
So he needs two more, two more, not two more levels, but he needs two more skills to learn. He'll learn Resist Light, and then that'll get rid of Dark Boost, and then he'll have five elements. But once we get to Resist Light, we can redo this and uh, be able to turn him into a, a have have Agudine, Bufudine, Aga, and then the three boosts, Fire Boost, Ice Boost, and Dark Boost. But until then, we'll use this one. And just, uh, you know, try not to die to, uh, Hama. I'm thinking of temporarily taking out, actually, Dark Boost. And giving Invigorate to... In its place. I think I'm going to, actually. Do that. So that will do it for this first of three mid-game Persona builds for Persona 3 Reload. Apologies again for the unscripted format, but I am trying to do what I can to get these out to you as soon as I'm able to. If you did like the video and want to see more from me, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you have any questions about this video, Persona 3 Reload, or any other game that I cover, feel free to hit me up over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash roslingaming or my Discord server, both of which are linked in the video description below. Until next time, take care.